everybody, welcome into this video editing tutorial in Premiere Pro, brought to you as always by tutvid.com. You saw the title, but here's an example of the effect that we're going to create. Just like that, it's just a nice simple lens flare transition. I hope you like it so much. There's a link in the description to a whole pack of video lens flares that are like 4K resolution, totally free. They're not mine, they're somebody else's, but I link to their site, you can check them out. Uh, and also, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, the little thumbs up icon, that would be amazing, thank you so much, if you do. Uh, and also, make sure you hit the uh, little subscribe button, subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video editing tutorial in the future, blah 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 blah. Let's check out this tutorial and learn how to create this lens flare effect or work with the lens flare effect, I should say. Now, I have one video clip of this uh, cello player here on my timeline, and I want to transition just to another clip. Uh, I'm going with this hand wheat shot uh, because what I want to do is if I can catch the camera movement of the cello shot, right, so it's kind of like swaying at the same place where the wheat is. Now, if I just watch through this, this camera is panning or swinging around just as this camera pushes uh, and this camera is way, way too slow. So what I'm going to do is take my uh, rate stretch tool here, and I'm just going to cut the size of this clip down. And it's not going to cut the clip down so much as as it sort of crunches the clip in, it's going to speed it up. So it's going to hopefully, we're going to match the timing a little bit better. So as that clip comes around, boom, we just come right in, and we've got the guy's hand moving through the wheat. Now we can continue tweaking and adjusting this to the cows come home. That's not the point of this tutorial, though. The point of this tutorial is talking about this here, this lens flare. And by the way, here, let me see. Over here in my finder, you can see blue through yellow lens flares. And also, I believe all of these lens flares are included in that pack as well. I'm just going with this warm.mp4, though. I'm not messing around with anything else. Warm.mp4, I'm going to drag it out and place it on the video track above my current video clips. Now, I'm just going to scrub through this, and I'm looking for an area of lens flare where there's some bright flashing. Because the whole point of this lens flare is just to sort of distract and play with the eye a little bit uh, as the camera is you know, as the scene is switching. So I'm going to take the edge of my warming uh, lens flare, and I'm going to cut it right there. Uh, that actually might be too much of a bright flash right away. Maybe I'll, uh, where do I want to go? So much to so much to choose from. You know what, I'm going to come out here and choose one of these bits. So I'm going to crunch my lens flare all the way in, and I'm going to go with like this bit of lens flare just right about there. That's probably plenty for a transition. Now I'm going to drag this above the transition between the two images. And you can see I get this just bizarre, uh, not so great looking, just whoa, what's going on here? So what we need to do is select that, uh, that track, the warm flare bit of video, and we're going to set it to the blend mode screen. So screen is right there. And what this is going to do is it's going to knock away all of the black and just preserve the warmth of the lens flare. So now if I watch it, just right off the bat, it's going to look quite a bit better because I get this huge bright flash and then the frame is going to switch. Really, I should probably right click on this, go to speed duration and reverse this because that initial super bright flash that happens, I should probably want that to happen. And as you come out of that whiteness, all of a sudden the frame has changed, right? You see that? Let's just nudge that. I'm going to zoom in using my plus uh, plus uh, button on my keyboard. I almost said plus icon. Plus button. And I'm going to use command or control plus my right arrow key to just nudge this clip uh, forward or down my timeline just a couple notches. See, just like that. I'll just nudge it right down. So when it comes out of that bright flash, boom, we have that wheat. So we we the lens flare kind of explodes and we come out of it and boom, we have the wheat. So pretty cool. Lens flare kind of starts out here, messes around. And then we're going to transition right into the wheat. Maybe that's a little bit too much of lens, the lens flare happening there. One of the things that I do like to do with a lens flare transition like this is throw a little fade onto the, the very beginning of it and sometimes onto the end of it as well. In this case, I don't think we need it on the end because the flash comes right out beautifully to the hand going through the wheat. Uh, but let's come over here to video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve, drop one here on the very beginning of the warmth. And I want it to be a very fast cross dissolve. So when we play through it, boom. The fade or the flare, I'm sorry, fades right in, and then it's going to end up cutting to our next clip uh, really, really nicely. Now, one other trick you can do with a flare like this is you can take the rate stretch tool and you can either stretch the flare out, make it longer and slower, kind of more dreamy for like a wedding type application or a love story or, you know, some sort of memorial video or, or whatever you're doing with it. Um, or you can really speed it up to make it very pulsing and flashing and powerful and impactful for some sort of action packed something you're doing. I'm going to drag this forward. I'm going to speed it up a little bit uh, just to really uh, make this flare hit and switch to the next uh, switch to the next clip. So boom, the flare hits, it shoots through, 
blasts and comes right out to the hand going through the wheat, and it is just what the doctor ordered. If you enjoyed this tutorial, again, make sure you just hit the little thumbs up uh, button. Also, if you have Instagram, if you do some cool transitions or something, make a little video, upload it to Instagram and tag me in it. My Instagram is at tutvid. That's T-U-T-V-I-D. Um, I'd love to see whatever you make if you feel so inclined. And yeah, that's really it for this tutorial for creating a lens flare transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. We really went over a bunch of different things with regard to adjusting the rate and clipping the clips and setting everything up so it works just right for your very own flare transition. So no matter or what situation you run into, you're going to at least have an idea of what to do when you get there. So for creating a lens flare transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.